advised, hostile UAV is coming. L-Storm missile on standby. Yes, that did just happen, and Treyarch, you nerfed the shit out of the knife, because when you go to knife somebody, this is just in my opinion, it just turns into a bit of a knifey spoony, and that's what you guys just watched then. You know, it just turns into a knife and spoony off, and you just honestly thought that was going to last the rest of that free-for-all. And uh, that was during the period where I was on edge as it was, during the fact that I was actually trying to get the execution to go, but that's beside the point. Knifey Spoon to start us off, jumping straight into league play. This is Hardpoint on Yemen, using the M8, of course. Playing Solo Masters League. Now, this gameplay, I've started at halfway through, just due to the fact that it was a 10-minute video, and I didn't really want it to go for 10 minutes, so I thought I'd start at halfway through. Uh, it is quite a good gameplay by myself, and it's one of those games where... Uh, it was just really, really fun to play, in, and that's sort of what keeps me playing League. I very rarely do I play um, pubs anymore. If I'm not playing League, you know, I'm playing pubs just to get diamond guns. So that's about the only time you'll see me play pubs. I've just recently got the Peacekeeper uh, to diamond, so you might see some Peacekeeper action um, coming up in League play. Um, struggling to play Call of Duty. I don't mind the competitive side of things, but. Just recently, I've been really concentrating on my Minecraft. Hopefully, you guys are liking that series. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave links in the description below. You guys can check that out. But this gameplay here, it comes down to the final hill. And what I mean by hill is the hard point. It's called hill, I think, because back in Halo 4, or not Halo 4, one of the old Halos has a similar game type, I think. But a lot of the Americans, they call it a hill, so that's just what I call it. It comes down to the final hard point. And it's a very, very exciting gameplay, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, hopefully you stick around to the end. Now, I was just going to refer to a comment that was made in my creative classes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and you took a little bit away from it. I know one of my subscribers messaged me on Twitter, told me that he's going to try out a few of those classes, and uh, hopefully that does help him. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, then go ahead and click the link in the description. That'll take you to my page. You can follow me. It's probably the best way to get in contact with me. You know, it's um, I've always got my phone on me at work, so I'm always checking Twitter, always replying to questions and things like that from you guys. Um, it's the way I keep in contact with um, other YouTubers, other Aussie YouTubers, and other American YouTubers as well. Guys, from my subscribers from all around the world, I've got subscribers in England that I keep in contact with and talk to them uh, via Twitter on a pretty regular basis. So if you guys ever want to get in contact with me, the best place to do it is on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, I really suggest that you do. You make one and you get on Twitter because it is such an easy way to contact people and to get information relayed back and forth. So if you have any questions, that's the easy way to do that. Now, to a question or a response that I got from my Creative Class video, one of you guys was questioning my third tier perks, Dead Silence and Awareness. Now, saying it was a waste of three points. Now, let me just clear things up and explain to you why I use that in my third perk, my third tier. The reason for Dead Silence is because I wear a headset. When I use a headset, uh, people who know me, people who play with me, they'll know that uh, I love to sound whore. Sound whore, it's something that comes naturally to me. I don't know whether my hearing's like really, really good. I just pick up on sounds. Even the boys I play competitive with, they think it's fucking like I'm a freak of nature or something. So I use Dead Silence because I don't want to hear my own footsteps because when I, when I hear my own footsteps, I can't hear other things. I can't hear other footsteps. So for me, personally, Dead Silence is a must. And Awareness is because I'd say 70% of the lobbies that you come into, people won't be wearing Dead Silence. And that gives you a massive advantage. You can hear them wherever they are around the map. And uh, personally for me, it works best for me. Now, there are certain maps where you don't want to wear it and you you know, you know won't need to wear Awareness. But on Yemen, I think it's got the sand tracks around the back and you can hear a lot of sound just throughout the whole map. So that's why I, I wear it on Yemen. Something like, um, say, what's that, Express? I'd be wearing Dexterity just to climb things faster and things like that. But that just cleared that up. Hopefully you guys can understand that I'm trying to give you guys um, information that'll help you guys out and hopefully you guys can try things and see if it works for you. Um, I'm not going to tell you something that is just stupid and just waste your time with. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave it play out. You guys can watch the last 30 seconds or so and I will see you guys in the next video. Kayach.
Agents, mission profile has not been achieved. RTB for retasking. 